Mr. Snuffles, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> You're so silly. So that went well. Are you okay? I'm okay. So what did Hodges say? Any legal problems about probate? Nope. It's all done. Wrapped up in a pretty legal bow with my signature. I'm sorry, sweetheart. That was inconsiderate. Where would you like to go? Anywhere. Just name it. Home. I'm going home.
Well, come in. Let's get some lights on in here. What is behind door number one? We make sure that the kitchen and bathroom work before we go exploring. Otherwise, we need to go to a hotel. I need to shower. Shower it is. OK, baby. I can't believe this is you. That is some big hair. How come you never showed me this pic before? Because it's not me. What? That's her. That's other. Huh. She's got a lot of these laying around. They're all of her. They always were. You two could be sisters. I'm an only child. Tea, extra honey. Thank you. Looking at pics of a supermodel, I see. Mm, she seemed to think so. Never really talked about her much. Well, there's a reason. Care to share? Mother only cared about what she wanted, not what I wanted. She was impossible to be around. That sounds like all mothers. I mean, you know mine. All she ever does is guilt trip me and tell me to have kids and... Uh, send me corned beef and cabbage. She wanted to be around you. I get so lonely I had an imaginary friend. Really? Yeah. Her name was Bethany. Oh. Well, what, no neighborhood kids or kids from school? Or? I was homeschooled. And playing with other children was unladylike. Well, my mom is starting to sound a lot less annoying. I want to go that far. You remember last Thanksgiving? Yikes. Yes, I do. And her, uh... The cell phone rings, still the stabbing music from Psycho. This is a big decision. We need to talk about it. No, we don't. Yes, we do, Claire. Look, baby, I love you. And I love you, Aaron. That's not the question here. It never is. It never was. I think that we should deal with things one thing at a time. And this house is a big enough thing to deal with. So can we please just deal with it? I am. And you're right. It is a big thing. It's a great big thing that we talked about and agreed upon before we moved here. Well, it's different now. How? It's better. For you, maybe. For me, this house. It's the best break we've ever gotten. 
being here feels wrong. Off. Like I'm walking through someone else's memory of life and I don't want it to be mine. I'm sorry, sweetie. I am. But the reality is, this house is old. It, it needs a lot of work before it could make any money on today's market. But for us, it's priceless. We've won the lottery here, sweetie. Yeah, well, when you win the lottery, you cash in the ticket, you don't move into the fucking 7-Eleven. Don't. Don't storm off like that's your final word. I let my friends and business to come here with you as well, so don't act like you're the only one on the cross. Claire, I think you're deflecting the question. Remember, my office is a safe place. The only thing that matters here is honesty to ourselves. No one is perfect in the eyes of the world. So let's address the monster in the room. Do you want to have a child with Aaron? Yes, I do, just... Right now. Is that because last time the baby was stillborn? No, it's because I don't want to have a child in this house. Why? Because I don't want to become my mother. And having a child in this house would do that? I mean, that's crazy. You don't call me that. I'm not calling you crazy. I'm saying the thought process crazy. Well, it's the same thing. That's good, Claire. You're angry. Now let's talk about why. I cut both of my wrists after my baby was born dead. I was filled with pain and anguish and hormones. And I lashed out at myself to end it. And I've come to terms with that as just part of who I am, but it is not why I don't want to have a baby in this house. Good, good. So, let's figure out why. What do you think it might be? Claire. Honey. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Aaron, and anger isn't always a bad thing. It's progress. Really? Absolutely. Her anger will pass, but the moment will be fertile ground for contemplation. Just be patient. Okay. Okay, thank you. She always prized beauty and status above all else. These were your mother's? No. These were mine. What are they for? Beauty pageants. Beauty pageants, huh? How come I never knew about this? Because I did them when I was a little kid. That's just, that's just cruel. Making a little girl fight for the validation of strangers. That's all my 
my mother cared about. I'm sorry, honey. This is it. This is my life. You see, she's won every pageant, and she's only just begun. Her accolades are quite impressive. Yes, she's my perfect girl. Do a pirouette. Very impressive indeed. Thank you, Miss Friedman. I also do gymnastics. Which okay, are my that's enough. You can go. Nice to meet you, Miss Friedman. You too, sweetie. You know, she would be the perfect poster child for your pageant this year. She is darling. I'll see what I can do, Susan. You know, I think that you can do more than this. I can't accept that. Of course you can. This is her life. It's all she has. Good. Tea? All right. Pretty sure we could streamline your workflow and get your office up and running in no time. Bye. Potential new client? Potential huge new client. They want me to bid on the entire building. That is fantastic. Uh, what did I tell you? Good things ahead. I'm really excited for you. For us, this could be huge. Gary's been here five years, and he's never made a cross-platform proposal like that. I mean, the guy looks and talks like Mr. Magoo, but baby, he's in. It's great, honey. He's in, he's down, he's on board. Their infrastructure, it's, it's a dinosaur. Their bandwidth, it's a joke. The hardware is Aztec, but they just had a massive acquisition of their IP. And guess who bought them? Uh... Come on, guess, guess, guess. Well... Who's your favorite search engine that makes cyborg eyewear and wants to terraform Mars? Goo. Yeah? 
Budget? But don't say anything, because, uh, you know, they might have booked the house. I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but we got to keep it on a down low for now. I mean, this is a complete reboot of the entire facility, and they want me to do it. Me. <laughs> Holy crap, I think I know how your mom felt when she won Miss Apple Pie. Apple Festival. Mm, exactly, except my crown will be made out of fiber optic cable. Financial stability, baby. Think about it. You, you won't even have to work. You won't even have to work. You can be a mom like we talked about. You know, a, a stay-at-home mom. Of course, why don't you get out of the house, get to the gym, take care of yourself? You gotta take care of your body, keep you in good shape. You know what I mean, skin up? I wanna keep you pretty and ripe like a little apple doll, my, my little apple festival, darling. Sweetheart, there's nothing here. It's just, it's just us. It's just us. It's just us. You're safe. It's, just... it's you and me. Okay. Okay. Do you do you want to lay down? Okay. You want me to bring you some tea? Okay. It's okay. I'm really proud of you, Aaron. You work really hard. They're lucky to have you. Thank you, babe. Make sure you use the blush. A princess always makes sure that her cheeks are like perfect roses.
gently, child. We don't want to look like a whore. Wipe it clean and do it again. Yes, mother. Again! <laughs> Claire, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm just looking at something, I guess. As long as you're right, I'm just a little concerned with the... Uh... Yeah. Thanks. I'm just... Uh... I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I get that. So, this is your old room, huh? Yeah. Were you a little person your whole life before we started dating? <laughs> I know, it's weird. Weird? Yeah. But seriously, you were how old when you moved out? Seventeen. Seventeen. I was seventeen years old before I stood up to her and walked out. I just don't see you playing with dolls and stuffed animals when you were seventeen. I couldn't see you as more of a cherry bomb. Hot chick with a bad attitude. You know. So you're not the one who left your room in a time warp? No, it was, it was dark and messy and covered in posters. Because this, this looks like pre-tween Claire is frozen in carbonite and it's, it's a little creepy. I think this stuff must have been in boxes years before I even moved out. Mr. Snuffles here. It's where I used to hide my wee and junior high. It's totally creepy. Hey, I made some tea. Do you want some? I'm sorry you're having such a rough time with this. I'm sorry. I didn't know that this would put me, us, through the ringer like this. I know, babe. I know you know. And I love you for that. I know you knew. I just want you to be happy. Whatever that is. Thank you. Have you thought about, uh, Medications coming back on them. Aaron. I'm just saying that 
Dr. Brown is way better than that old quack. He's young and hip and... Really? No, <laughs> no, he's no Elvis, but he's up to speed on all the newest options, and it's just, it's worth thinking about. I don't want to be a zombie again, Aaron. That was awful. I know it was rough, but it can be better. We can do it together. Just think about it, okay? Talk to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> you were listless, and you didn't bathe, and you didn't laugh at my jokes, and you ate the neighbor's brains. Hey. Okay. <laughs> but now I'm going to take a shower so I don't smell like the undead. You're not just some stinky zombie, honey. You're my stinky zombie. and family steps under the great retreat. So that's good dreams for everybody, okay?
Claire. Claire, can you hear me? Claire, Claire, can you hear me? Okay, uh, sweetie, I need to stay awake. Okay, I need you to stay awake for me. And, uh, I need you, uh, I need you to stay awake and I need you, I need you to tell me your name. Claire, I'm Mace. Yes, that's right, baby. It's very good, very good. Don't, don't fall asleep. Okay, so, um, can you, can you tell me what year it is? What? What year is it, baby? You stay awake. 2016. That's great. That's great, sweetie bike. You're doing really well. Don't fall asleep. Now just tell me my name. Claire. Claire, stay awake. They're on their way. Claire. Claire, honey. Claire, baby. Stay, stay awake. Stay awake. Claire, come here, baby. Come here, it's okay. Beauty is just so brief. It goes so fast. Mommy, you're hurting me. Oh, How dare you! further, further than before, and, and I followed her to the stairs, and, and then she pushed me, the wall, a hand came from the wall, and it pushed me down, and, and, I, and I don't that remember sounds like a great entry into your dream journal, Claire, but I want to know the truth. What? That is the truth. What? what, what? Did you know? What? No. Did you know? Did I? Because I do. Now, ER protocol, they, they checked you for drugs, hallucinogens. They wouldn't even let me come close to you. 
until Dr. Brown talked to the duty nurse, explained your past. And then the rabbit died. Rabbit, what? You're pregnant, Claire. <gasps> it's a fact. It's six weeks of fact. And what I need to know, what I have to know, is did you know? And did you know when you go down those stairs on purpose? Exactly, I don't know. No. Aaron, no. No, I would never. Oh my God, Aaron. No. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Is it okay? Is Baby. <laughs> I will be right downstairs. Call me if you need anything. I love you, Aaron. I love you too, sweetheart.
Claire, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Claire? You're sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm good. I, Can I get in there? Just a minute. you need to do? Uh, why? Uh, were, were you gonna take a shower? No. Do I smell? Or? Oh no, it's just, um, you know, these old water heaters. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Hey. I love you, Claire Bear. I will bring you Luddites kicking and screaming into the modern age. Hey, not till after dinner, Sith Lord. Yes, ma'am, I promise. Promise. Wrong franchise, but I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> well, you really didn't have to go through all this trouble. I didn't want to put you out. Oh, no. I mean, you're practically family. I mean, the only family we can stand. I thought I should follow up, see how you guys were doing after what happened. See how she was doing. It's much appreciated. Really, above and beyond, sir. You know, secretly, the drive is like a mini vacation. I tell Janice that the phone's dead, and I use it as a chance to catch up on all my trashy books on tape. <laughs> to life's little luxuries. Okay. Cheers. Oh. I miss Canada sometimes. The little things. Caesars. Uh, Caesars, is that the pizza chain? Or? No, Caesars. It's a Bloody Mary with clam juice and booze. Clam juice and booze. That sounds disgusting. But it's good. Really? Do they have, like, sardines and beer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody should do that. Or do octopus and whiskey. It, yeah. It's the little things, right? It's the little things, like the upspeak. How we end every sentence with a question mark. We sound like a bunch of elves. <laughs> It's just not cool, not sexy. It's the worst with the ladies. Well, that's not true. Well, of all the Commonwealth countries, our accent, Irish, Australian, Canadian, you sound like a bunch of apologetic hobbits. It's not that bad. Actually, it's our superpower. We hide behind politeness. It's the ultimate subterfuge when everybody thinks they're safe and we come charging in on a moose, swinging a hockey stick and screaming beer. It's so, true. Yeah, I am one of the chosen, Mr. Brown. <clears throat> That's Doc Brown to you. Only if you got a flex capacitor. Huh? That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> was a little slippery. Okay, but you called my name? Yeah. Uh, dinner's almost ready. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. So, on to other more pressing matters. There is no way. I have, I have to give you pushback on this, but there is no way that a Trolfa Midorian would be friends with an Ewok. It's not even the same universe. Clearly, you don't understand the complexities of Slaughterhouse-Five. 
or the politics of the Ewok. And the child's. I didn't. I didn't do this. I didn't do this. She, she. She did this. She made. She made me do this. Honey, honey, we were there. We saw what happened. You didn't see. You didn't see Aaron because she chose me. She wants me. Aaron, you didn't see. Claire, please. No, Aaron, you have to listen to me. You have to be on my side. Okay, you can't turn your back on me and think that I'm crazy. I'm not turning my back on you, sweetheart. But you need to calm down. No, no. Just rest, Claire. We're getting you the help you need. It's good for you. No, I'm not a child. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. She did this little girl. The girl did this. No, God damn it, Aaron. Let me out. God. What, what is that? What is that? What is that? The, the baby. He's fine. The baby. It's, she's fine. It's safe, Claire. It's safe. It's safe. Aaron, I didn't do this. It was her. She did this to me, to us. Bethany. Please, sweetheart, it's okay. Just sleep. It's gonna be all right. I love you, baby. I love you so much. I love you so much. you can do here now. She's gonna be asleep for hours. Let's go, come on. There's a cab out front. I'll come pick you up in the morning. You sure? Yeah, come on. Okay. Go home. Go home. Get some sleep. Thank you. Uh... If you weren't there, and that was, I, I don't know what I would have done, Paul. I was just. I was happy to help. <laughs> Let's get home and get some rest, okay? Yeah. It's been a yeah. long night. Yeah. Uh, thank you for everything. Going on break. 
Eight o'clock. Let's hear that. Okay. She's gonna be okay. Yeah. I'll be here. Okay. Just relax. Thanks, Paul. Late night? <laughs> Early morning. How's your patient? Good. For now. Kind of an odd one, to be honest with you. Well, let me know if you need some help. You are a godsend. Hey, can I hop on this computer and check some records? Shall we? I'm your doctor, dear. Now, let's behave properly. No need for theatrics or impudence. Get away from me. Oh, don't be shy. We both know that you wouldn't be in a family way if you were. What? A shy, that is. Get away from me. Come, come. The checkup is routine. 
We've been down this road before. You don't want to raise up any old ghosts, do you? Hmm? Mrs. Pinnacle? It's my name. How do you know my name? My apologies. He's barely cold by now, isn't he? What's important are the girls and you, Susan. You and your precious little girls. Mommy's got to be in tip-top shape. Mommy can't be the apple queen if she's not in tip-top shape now, can she? Mommy. I'm not a mother. I don't have a child. Silly lies don't suit your apple pretty lips. We were both there, all of us. Them that was and is not now. Two little girls, beautiful and pure on the inside. One to cherish, one to nourish, a blessing and a curse. Please, I'm not her, I'm not my mother. It's sure. <laughs> to both of them. God doesn't give us what we desire. God gives us what we need. Mason, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you're all right? Did he touch you? Yes. I didn't. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Right, he didn't touch. do that. Get Mr. Merman back to his room, and this time follow the procedures precisely. Yes, sir. Come on, Mr. Merman. Dr. Merman, do you? Young well, shut up. Just move your ass. He's a doctor here. No, he used to be 15 years ago. That was before the pills and the mills. He said he, he knows me. He, he knows my mother. He said he knows me. Miss Mason, you seem a little fuzzy still. Do you remember anything about how you got down here? Listen to me. He knew my mother's name. He, he, he knew about me. He said mm -hmm. I have a sister. Yeah, well, he also wants to do a prostate exam on me every Wednesday. He knew our names. He knew mother's name. The, the Apple Queen. He was there. He was with us, all of us. Okay, he was well, take a walk with me and tell me all about the Apple Queen, okay? Okay. Well, you need to let my husband Aaron know right away. Look, we'll do that. We have to tell okay, him. Okay, but right now, you're going to get some rest. Okay. Because everything is going to be so much better once you rest. Hey, Paul, I was just about to head to the hospital. We need to talk. Can I come inside? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is everything OK? He's clear. OK. She will be. Oh, what are these? Claire's family file? Is, is something wrong with Claire? Yes. All of Claire's issues must be stemming from Mallory. Mallory. Um, 
Is that a mental illness or? It's her twin sister. What? Claire had a twin sister. No, she's never said anything about a sister. She didn't know. Nobody told her. Claire's childhood was hidden from her, from everyone. Her mother truly must have been a monster. Look, look at this. Here. The baby was born horribly deformed, and her mother was so ashamed, she bribed the doctor to falsify the birth records to show that her twin was stillborn, even though the baby was still alive. That explains the genetic aberration. That's why your baby was born stillborn. It was inherited from the mother, from, from Claire. I saw her. But uh, what is it? What does it mean? Claire's imaginary friend. Yeah, uh, Bethany. Mallory, Bethany, Pentacule. Wait, you're saying that Bethany is Claire's sister? Her sister, precisely. Okay, Paul, but you're not, you're not suggesting something supernatural. This is... <sighs> Look, I'm a man of science. But this house is doing horrible things to her psyche, and I suggest you don't bring her back. Dress, please. Right now, we okay. have to leave. Okay. We have to go. What's going on? I saw her. Uh, Bethany, Mallory, whatever her name is, I saw her, and she fooled me. Where? She fooled me just the same way she fooled you. Dr. Brown, she made me cut out. I just yeah. wrote, and he bled, and he died, and I couldn't help him. Who's going to believe me? I don't want to go to jail. No one, no one believed you, and I'm your husband. I didn't even believe you. No, 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 okay. I need to lay her to rest. What? She was my sister, and I will not treat her the way my mother did. I will not become my mother. We need to do this to move on. No, no. 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 You don't have to come with me. But I'm going back. I don't want to go.
like a tunnel. Can you make this hole larger? Yeah. Hold on. Where does it go? I don't know. It keeps going. No, honey, I don't like this. I don't like this. Come back.
my fault. <laughs> it was my fault you died. <laughs> we went away. I was 10 years old and I, I begged mom to take me skiing when we were snowed in. <laughs> Eight days in the cabin was food and warmth <laughs> and friends <laughs> while you starved here alone in the dark. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> I understand why you hated me. I hate me. <laughs> I didn't know you were real. I'm so sorry. And it's time to set you free. Honestly, I still think you guys could have gotten a higher number, but as long as you're happy. We are. Very. Thank you. Okay, then. Well, if you've taken everything you need and you've tied up all your loose ends... Yep. All done. Pleasure, folks. You as well. Thank you. something out of the way. Here's to new beginnings. To new beginnings. 